So just a few days ago, Thomas Halbert opened up and got very deep and very vulnerable on his YouTube channel. So in this video, we're gonna talk about it, see what lessons we can learn from it. And don't worry, this story does have a happy ending. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And please, before we get started, do not forget, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul because I keep you updated on all the cool stuff coming and everything like the launch of the brand new podcast. We are six episodes deep, so go make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter. Go follow the podcast. It's available on all platforms now from Spotify to iTunes to Google Podcasts. It's even up on SoundCloud, baby. But I post all the updates over there or just visit the website, therewiredsoul.com. All right, anyways, this has been something that's just been on my mind for days. And Thomas Halbert just released this video shortly after all of the James Charles drama with Tati Westbrook and Jeffree Star. And I don't know if it brought up a lot of old feelings for him or what, but anyways, to take you back a little bit in history, last year, um, Thomas Halbert is a uh, beauty YouTuber, um, does a lot of makeup, kids got skills, and anyways, he got caught up in some controversy, calling out Jeffree Star, and then some things got exposed about Thomas Halbert, and yeah, the cancel culture hit him and all of this stuff happened. And since then, Thomas has been working very hard to bounce back from it. But in this new video where he opened up, he talks about how that affected his mental health. And what I hope all of you take away from this is not only get help, like get help, I can't say that clearer, get help, all right? But I want you to really check in with the role that you play with all of these things, right? Like, it's crazy, because I know so many people like to sit back and watch shows like Black Mirror, but when I actually watch what's happening, like, like we are the ones who are inspiring Black Mirror. And when you see like cancel culture and mob mentality and everything like that, you're like, oh, no wonder where Black Mirror got this idea from. Like, we are currently doing it, and they just take it to an extreme in Black Mirror. And what I mean by that is Thomas, Thomas Halbert opens up and gets really vulnerable about what he's been through and what he's going through. Like, one thing that I gotta say that I absolutely 1,000% respect Thomas Halbert for is the accountability. In his video, he takes 1,000% accountability for what happened, all right? He's not deflecting, he's not dodging it. He said, I did this, I brought this on myself. And this is something that I hope everybody can take away from this. Like. So many of us would play the victim and say, oh my God, why did this happen? Why, why, why me? Why, why is the whole world against me? And typically what I've learned from my experience is that when we retrace these breadcrumbs, we, we find out that we were the source, right? We set off this chain of events. So what we also see with Thomas Halbert's video is that there's a balance that comes in with this, right? Where we take personal responsibility, we take that accountability, we realize that we screwed up, but the problem is is that that pendulum can swing f so far this way that it turns into self-hatred and beating up our, on ourselves. And something that I try to do with myself and I try to teach other people is, we need to learn how to treat ourselves the same way we would treat a friend who is going through that situation, right? And here's what I mean by that. like. For as much as other people might talk trash about us, for most of us, we beat ourselves up way more than anybody else can, right? But how would you talk to a friend? Like, would you would you allow anybody to talk to your friend the way that you're talking to yourself, saying that you're a horrible human being, saying that you're not worth anything, saying that you're nothing, you screwed up, you're always gonna be a screw up, you're never gonna bounce from, back from this? Like, wh what would you do if you watch somebody talking to your friend that way? Like, so I guess in essence, we need to treat ourselves like we are one of our friends. So what we need to do is disconnect from that voice that's talking all this trash to us and sit back and like, calm down and show ourselves some 
some love and some compassion. And most of all, most of all, above everything else, we need to be able to show ourselves forgiveness. Like you guys, I cannot stress this to you enough. As a recovering drug addict and alcoholic, I would not be where I am today living this life that is a billion times better than it used to be if I did not learn how to forgive myself, all right? All we can do is look at where we screwed up and learn from it and grow from it. But it is not benefiting us or anybody else by continuing to beat ourselves up. But something Thomas talks about in his video is how it got to a place of ideation of taking his own life. And he talks about how he was driving recklessly and you know, all of a sudden a voice popped in his head to stop. And like, something I, I just wanna touch on because I'm gonna make another video about this too because another YouTuber just talked about this and like, if I can do nothing else on this channel but bring awareness to what's actually happening in this community, then I feel like I'm doing my job correctly. But it really worries me and it really scares me seeing how many YouTubers talk about the ideation of taking their own life based on this, this job or based on this career. It's really scary. And when, I, when I'm talking about like the Black Mirror thing, like I want you guys to think about that. I want you to think about the vitriol and hatred and just spewing like how much you dislike somebody and how they're an awful person. Like, I hate to say it, but how are you going to feel if that person ends up taking their life? Like, think about that for a second. Right, like think about like the, the nasty comments, the, the, the tweets, all these things. Like think about that for a second. Like we haven't seen it happen, but I, I, I think it's important to discuss these things because I feel when it does happen, when it, when it does happen in the future, when we see YouTubers starting to off themselves based on a mistake they made, right, or based on public backlash, based on cancel culture, we're really gonna have to start rethinking this. Like right now there's this huge like hashtag save social blade and everybody's like, oh, look, let's see the numbers. And I like watching people like their numbers go down after they get canceled and all this other nonsense. Like it's all fun and games until someone takes their own life. So anyways, getting back to Thomas Halbert, I'm, I'm super proud of him for not only opening up about what he's been going through and everything like that. Like, it was such a raw video, and I think there's a lot that we can learn from it, but how he talks about how this whole situation affected him. Like, most of the time, like, what we don't realize, when you see cancel culture come in and just completely dogpile on somebody for screwing up, like, Thomas admits that he screwed up. A lot of us screw up. But what happens is the dogpile comes in, all of this awfulness, comes in and then you all go about your everyday life and then there's still somebody who is just left beaten and broken at the bottom of that dog pile, right? They're, and then they have to get up and figure out a way to put their life back together. And it's something that we don't often think about because we are such selfish and self-centered creatures, we just like going on the attack and we don't, we don't think about everything that happened after that. But anyways, like I said, this story does have a happy ending because fortunately, fortunately, Thomas has had such an amazing response to his video. I believe his video has over 300,000 views now and it's awesome, it's awesome and he's been so grateful for it on Twitter and everything like that and he also just did a, a <laughs> an insanely long live stream um, and they were able to raise over $17,000 for Planned Parenthood and I believe one other organization and that is awesome and something that I hope, if Thomas Halbert ever sees this video, something that I hope for Thomas Halbert moving forward in the future is because he touched on this in his video is we as creators or we as people in general, we need to quit attaching our self-worth to these, these things like our job, our career, 
In Thomas Halbert's situation, he talks about the numbers, the views, the subscribers. Because when we attach who we are and how we feel about ourselves to our job, we are setting ourselves up for failure. Something that I would recommend for somebody like Thomas Halbert is base who you are, not by these numbers, not by the fame, not by the fortune, but base it on who you are as a person, base it on your character. Like Thomas Halbert just raised over $17,000 for charity, all right? And to me, that greatly outweighs any amount of subscribers he's lost, any amount of views that he's lost. Like, and if he keeps going in this trajectory of trying to give and put out a positive message and help out, you know, people who are less fortunate or to fund programs that are as important as Planned Parenthood, like, I think we're going to see a brand new, awesome Thomas Halbert, because this dude is still young. But when I see things like this, I get inspired because I'm like, this dude is on the right track. And if he can stay on it, that'll be awesome. But if you're watching this and you're struggling with anything, check down in the description below. I will leave some resources, but we need to look at videos like the ones Thomas Halbert just released and get inspired by them and realize if somebody like Thomas Halbert can make it through that situation, guess what? you can make it through your situation too, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul so you can stay up to date with all of the cool stuff that I'm launching, like the podcast and all that. Before I take off, huge thank you to all of your you wonderful Patreons out there, all right? Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.